George Whitfield. He joins us now from Indianapolis. Uh, George, thanks for your time. Are you going to include now in your uh, training sessions with Johnny Manziel a way to get him over six feet? Can you do that? <laughs> no, I'm not. The, the height he is is, is the perfect height. Um, that's the same height that helped him slash through the, through the best conference in college football. And really, Paul, we're talking about this. Absolutely, this, yeah. I just got it scientifically measured as a quarter inch. So if, uh, if teams want to bet on this quarter inch over that giant, uh, that would be an interesting bet. But we're, we're talking about this, this quarter inch What is that that you right have here. there, George? What is that? Well, I went and got this scientifically measured. Uh, it's some paper, and they, they, they lasered it off for me, and they said, George, here's a quarter inch. So Johnny puts five foot 11, three quarters on the table. I'll add this. And so see it's, if we can uh, let it's, him no, go through. it's no accident that you had that today on the day he was measured. I mean, you, you knew this was going to happen this way, right? No, I actually just got this done coming from Starbucks. You know, the measurement came out. And so according to whoever measured him today, so, if, you know, I had to go and said, man, what would an illustration be of a quarter of an inch? So, America, this is it. And that's what you have. Baddest football player on the planet. Plus this mm -hmm. is six feet. But it's interesting, though, the quarterbacks yep. that you've trained in the past. Uh, recently, Cam Newton, a very large quarterback. Andrew Luck was 6'4". So, th this is an example of the different kind of evaluation that you have, that the NFL has on its hands with Johnny Manziel. Yeah, very different. I think um, knowing these three guys, uh, with Cam and Andrew, they all could impact the game uh, in, in, in ways that, that are multiple and diverse, just like, just like Johnny. So when he's out there running around and scoring touchdowns and making plays, uh, it has the same impact that Cam has on the game and same that Andrew has on the game. So whether you're a Hummer or a Ferrari, uh, as, as, as long as you're – you know, in, in overdrive, I don't, I don't know, uh, you know, what the difference really, really gets down to. You know our own Mike Mayock here. I want to read you a quote that he had, uh, that he said right before he went to Indianapolis about Johnny Manziel. He said, quote, he's a completely different evaluation, and your team is going to have to change how they play and embrace his style. Are you trying to alter his style at all with the way you're training him? No, I don't think, I, I think... His ability versus his style are two different things. When things break down or defenses do, you know, overwhelm the pocket, he has rare ability to equal that out. But he is, he is just as capable as anybody else playing in rhythm, you know, be it a West Coast offense or a vertical system. Um, and I think he's excited about that challenge. I know, you know, the country will be excited to watch him play on Sundays, but... He led college football in accuracy from the pocket this year. So it wasn't like he was just, you know, some whirling dervish, you know, all over the field. And, you know, he's strong, he's, he's accurate, and, you know, he's, he's a winner. So um, he can play in a, in a systematic, you know, regimen, you know, pure progression system. Uh, You'd just be excited to see him get that up, you know, opportunity. I'm a believer. I think he's not only going to be a top 10 pick. Uh, I think he's top five for sure. I wouldn't be surprised if he's number one. But he's not a perfect quarterback. There's a lot of things he does need to work on. Before his pro day that you're putting together on, on March 27th, what are a couple of areas that you really think he has to improve between now and then? Well, just, just again, like, like Newton and Luck at this phase, um, his footwork um, for – you know, coming out from under center, uh, and just like all young quarterbacks, the NFL routes are going to be a little bit different, you know, than the collegiate routes. Um, they, it's just what they're accustomed to doing. So we just have to familiarize him with some of those things, and uh, you know, pretty much just you know get the get the pro day workout built, and get ready to go out and attack it. You advised him to, or you put him in touch with Tom Brady. What do you know about that conversation? What kind of advice did Tom give to Johnny? Well, I didn't have anything to do with that connection, but uh, I know they got to touch base, and, you know, I think Tom just basically passed on some encouraging words, and, uh, you know, Johnny's, and rightfully so, as a fan, as we all are, so, you know, imagine a young baseball player getting a chance to talk to Derek Jeter. That, that's, that's effectively what Johnny getting a chance to, you know, pick Tom Brady's brain would, would be like. I think it's smart when you're that young.
And I want to finish where we started. Get that prop out again from Starbucks one more time as Johnny Menzel measured it just under six feet at 5'11 and three quarters. George Whitfield said it's only that much. We're talking about that much to get over six feet. So uh, that works very well this morning. Thank you. No problem.